Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the weekly contest 410. Count the number of good notes. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. So this one, um, a node is good if all the subtrees rooted on its children are the same size. There is one edge case. I mean, I think this is pretty straightforward to understand. It's not, that doesn't make it easy. It's just in terms of understanding what they're asking for. And of course, knowing what they're asking for is the first problem uh, of, of this or like the first part of these problems, right? And the key thing also is that edges is kind of giving you an adjacency list, which they don't really talk about in the example. Um, but if you're too used to binary trees, you may not realize, but it's just that there are a number of, yeah, there could be an n binary tree. Like for example, in example three, you have three nodes or three children for uh, root zero, right? Stuff like that. So you just have to handle it. But, um, yeah, uh, I think beyond that, uh, except for, you know, that that's a little bit of a wrinkle, a little bit of a trick, but um, but honestly, this problem is probably already on lead code, the binary version, uh, if I have to guess. You just have to kind of figure out how to implement it. And also, honestly, if you practice a lot on binary, oh, sorry, on lead code, you probably get a good amount of prompts that are very similar to this. So definitely, honestly, if you're not super fast on this one and you are not able to get this one, it is a practice thing. Right? I mean, there's really no other way to do it. You just have to practice more, you know, not going to lie, <laughs> uh, because this is a pretty standard problem. <clears throat> and I would also say that um, I can see this being an interview problem just because this is relatively standard to that, you know, in terms of difficulty and understanding. Anyway, uh, so the first thing that I did is to create an adjacency list. Um, you know, we just convert the edge list to adjacency list so that we can use the data a little bit better. Um, you know, you connects to we, we connects to you. Pretty good so far. And now we have this recursion. Uh, yeah, so for each node, and we were given its parent, for each node, we look at all its cho children, and is it, we, we know a node is not, uh, we know a node is its child, if it's not its parent, because you only have one parent, so if it's not the parent, then everything else you're connected to is the child. Um, so, you know, we do this, we have a C, and I guess a sub-problem of this is just to count a uh, number of nodes at that subtree rooted at node node. And if you and this is a way, as I said, standard problem on lead code, so you should pretty much um, be able to do this very quickly, honestly. So yeah, so this... Now, uh, uh, let me just add some comments. Uh, the number of nodes at subtree rooted at node, right? Um, with the parent, but yeah. Uh, and we start with the node at zero. Yeah, so anyway, so yeah, here this is recursive and then we just sum up the total. This is a very straightforward recursive thing of, um, yeah, the total and, yeah, we just, uh, uh, the number of nodes at subtree is just you go to recursively the n number of nodes at the children subtree added together, right? And then here I just do one more thing of s is equal to the set. S is uh, just my abbreviation for scene, like the things that we've seen before, and we just kind of keep track of them. You could probably even shortcut it a little bit, though you still have to kind of figure out how to add this, so maybe there's no shortcutting anyway. But yeah, um, <clears throat> and yeah, and this is if. If there's only one um, thing, then that means that all the nodes on a child has the same number of subtree, or yeah, number of roots or number of nodes at the subtree. Or if it's zero, then this is a leaf, which also counts. And then we just ends, you know, add an answer to this answer that we're going to return. Of course, you could have also put it as part of the return value, but that's fine. Uh, I I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, so what's the the uh, complexity here, right? Well, we only look at each node once, so this is going to be just linear time, linear space, because we have an adjacency list, but also the stack space. So yeah, linear time, linear space. Um, keeping in mind that in, uh, for a tree, the number of nodes is the, the number of edges minus one. Yeah, right? So... They're all same order. I mean, it's still gonna be o, o of n or whatever. So, uh, so yeah, that's all I have for this month. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and yeah, you could watch me solve it live during the contest now. That's when you need n.
all subtrees rooted in the same way. Zero. Okay, fine. Oops, how do we forget it? Seven six. Yeah, would have answer. Why did I? Uh, I don't know why I wrote, wrote it differently today. Three one six. That's not right. Oh oh, because. Um, <coughs> Six twelve, right? That took longer than I expected. That's thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest, these problems, this explanation. How did you do? Everything in between. Uh, in the comments. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye bye.